Today, by the way, was day 10 of the government shutdown. At what point do we politely ask Canada to govern us? <laughs> There was, there was some action today. House Republicans offered to raise the debt ceiling for six weeks, but they refused to end the shutdown, which was a non-starter for President Obama. So we're at a standstill once again. I will tell you this, though. When President Obama and John Boehner finally do settle this, the makeup sex is going to be amazing. <laughs> if the debt ceiling is... Um... Are we applauding sex? If the debt ceiling isn't raised by Thursday, the country won't legally be allowed to borrow any more money and will be down to only $30 billion in cash, which, you know, like, China carries that much cash around in their pants. <laughs> China even issued a warning today. We owe them more than a trillion dollars, like $1.3 trillion, and if we default on that, they've threatened to cut off our supply of cheap plastic crap made by kids, <laughs> which would be disastrous. A lot of things are shut down. The CDC is shut down, the Center for Disease Control, which means they might have to cancel flu season this year. The <laughs> national parks are shut down, NASA is shut down, but there is one government building that's still open, and that's the congressional gym. The exclusive gym where congressmen go to work out has remained open during all of this, although they were quick to point out that the gym is not fully operational because towel service is no longer available <laughs> due to the shutdown. So everyone is suffering. <laughs> I worked out today without a towel. I worked out today without a towel. I went to work wet. I tried to use newspapers to dry off. Wouldn't recommend it. No towel for me. No towel. We go without towels. Because sacrifices must be made. Congress, wet, wet because, because we, we care. care. So, anybody want to wrestle? You gotta catch me first! Paid for by money saved for low and non-essential NASA employees.